Alex Okafor, defensive end, University of Texas, uh, number 80. It's just a great honor, man. Um, any awards you get, you just feel humble. You feel you feel grateful that people recognize that you're out there, you know, playing well, performing well. So uh, it's, it's a great opportunity to get some more exposure, and I'm just grateful and thankful for this uh, award. Just a surreal situation. Um, first of all, my position coach put me in a great position to, to play like that. I mean, we had a great scheme that week. But, um, I mean, I was just in the zone that game. It was, it was crazy, man. You know, when you start feeling it, and it, it doesn't stop, and that's exactly what happened. I was just feeling I was in the zone. I was locked in and just continued to make plays. It's like a weight. <laughs> like, trying to lift it up is actually a lift within itself. And now, Longhorn fans, please direct your attention to the field for a very special presentation. For the fourth year in a row, a Texas Longhorn football player has earned national honors from the College Football Performance Awards. Following in the footsteps of previous Longhorns, like Earl Thomas in 2009, Sam Ocho in 2010, and Fozzie Whitaker in 2011, Alex Okafor has been named the 2012 CFPA Elite Defensive Lineman of the Year. Incidentally, Texas is now the only program in the nation to have a player earn national honors from CFPA each and every year from 2009 to 2012. But back to Alex. He was a team captain in 2012 and played in 52 games during his Longhorn career. After finishing the 2012 Valero Alamo Bowl with a game record four and a half sacks and six total tackles for a loss, Alex was named Defensive MVP. He also was a two-time first-team All-Big 12 selection and was named to the 2012 Big 12 De Defensive Player of the Year by CBSSports.com. Right now, to present Alex's trophy well-deserved is CFPA Executive Director Brad Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now congratulate this great long term. Alex Oakland, the 2012 CFPA Elite Defensive Lineman of the Year. Look at that. Coach Brown, he not only does he teach football, he teaches you how to succeed in life. He teaches you how to be a man, holds you accountable, and that's I mean that's his biggest traits that he provides for us. He's a he's a great guy, an honest guy, and a, I wouldn't I'm glad I got to play under him. Uh, it's just it's it is the university. It's called the University of Texas for a reason. It's the state university. When you think of Texas, you think of that school, and um, it's just an honor for you to play for that. Um, Anywhere you go across the country, you're going to see a Longhorn on somebody. And it's just, it's great having a fan base like that. I mean, I grew up in a two-parent home. I have a little brother that's 16, about to turn 17. I love him to death. Um, I was, I mean, I've been blessed. Uh, my parents have provided everything for me. And uh, they've helped me become who I am today. I'm so thankful for that. Uh, Hobbies outside of football, the biggest thing is just sleep, and I wouldn't even call that a hobby, but sleeping, man. Football is has it's such a grind on the body that anytime you have an opportunity to take a quick power nap, you, you gotta take advantage of that. And I, I do that all the time. <laughs> it's just great. We got a little pipeline going on now, man, and uh, I'm glad to continue that this year. But uh, just to be mentioned with some of those guys, Earl Thomas, he's a Pro Bowler, two-time Pro Bowler. Uh, Sam Macho, he started this year for the Cardinals. Fozzie, he just got picked up by the Cardinals. It's a it's a great class to be mentioned with, and uh, I'm just honored to be a part of that. My name's Alex Okafor, and I'm the winner of the 2012 Elite Def Defensive Lineman Trophy. Hook 'em horns. I'm Coach Oscar Giles. I'm a defensive end coach at the University of Texas, and Alex Okafor played under me for the last four years. It's several, but I guess one that pops out. Uh, was more or less maybe his uh, first uh, first uh, game against Oklahoma. Uh, he actually had a uh, calls fumble uh, on a zone read on a run play, and he forced a fumble, and um, they didn't record it uh, in the stats. And uh, two days later, I got a call from his mom, and she wanted to make sure that was that's documented that he got a forced fumble. So I teased him for quite some time because – if that's the only thing she can remember, then you was not very productive. So, uh, but he he uh, has had a, a heck of a career here in Texas, and I'm so proud of him. Well, it's about time, big man. I'm, I'm really excited for you. You've earned it. You've earned the right to uh, to receive this award, but you have also left your mark in Texas. I'm proud of you. You know, it's not too many guys that they get the degree, uh, finish their 
last bowl game with a win and also with four and a half sacks, which is not too bad. But I'm really proud of you. And uh, now let's take it to the next level and live your dreams.